Uh, if you own a CNC router, router CAD is going to be your best buddy. And believe me, if you own a CNC router, you need a best buddy some of the time. And one of the cool things uh, about router CAD is it makes parts for you really easily and sends the CNC router. So if I just click down here in the command line and type in PLT for parts list and hit enter on the keyboard, it's going to bring up a parts list. It's going to remember the last part list, parts list you typed in or you can come in and add and change it or do whatever you want to do to it. Uh, so I've got all my quantities here, my materials, my layer names are all defined for me. I'm just going to select nest and export. This is going to bring up uh, a destination folder. I'm just going to call it parts and select save here. It's going to go through, draw all the parts for you. I'm going to click OK here. Here's uh, all your parts. Uh, I can tell it uh, to nest those parts. So there's my uh, backs and here's all my internal parts. But let's say, well, I'm, I want to add uh, some end panels to that. Uh, and this is where our best buddy comes in really handy. I'm just going to go import. I'm going to go back to uh, my cabinets on, on the fly cabinets. I'm going to take a left end panel. And let's say I need uh, three of those. And I'm going to hit OK on that. We had those there. I'm going to go back to import. Say I need a right end panel. And I'm going to add three of those and select OK. Now I'm going to nest this. So now, not only do I have all my internal parts to the cabinet, I have all my uh, end panels as well. And also, since Rowercat is such a good buddy for you, it's also going to come in and square off this sheet for you so you don't have a weird shaped piece left over here. And when I go to nesting, display code, it's going to march through and uh, create all your G code for you. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I uh, hope to have you as a customer. Thank you very much.